Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to set up the SDL library in Visual Studio 2022 to create C++ applications using SDL. So first, let's download it. So let's type SDL. Now let's go to this first link. In this page, we have to click on SDL releases. Then here, we need the libraries. And I will download the libraries for Windows. So let's click on this link. Now let's save this zip file. So I will save it on the desktop. Now we need to download SDL image. So let's type SDL image. Let's go to this first link. And in this page, we need to download the libraries for Windows. So let's download this zip file. Let's save it. So I will save it on the desktop. Now we need to extract these two files. So I will extract them on documents into the folder called libraries. Now let's go to Visual Studio and let's create a new project. So here I will select empty C++ project. Let's click on next and I will call this project SDL project one. Let's click on create. Now the project has been created, but it is empty. So let's add a new C++ file. Here let's select C++ file and let's call it main.cpp. So here I will paste a source code that I have already prepared. So in this simple application we will create a window that will be located at this position of the screen and that will have this dimension. Then we will open this image and in this while loop, we will paint the image once every 30 milliseconds. This means that we will paint the image 33 times per second. So you can find this source code in the description of this video. Now let's go to project, then properties, and here let's expand C++ and let's select general. Now in the additional include directories, we need to add the include folders. So let's go to documents, then libraries, and here let's start with SDL. So let's add this include folder. Let's click on select folder. Now let's click on this button. Then let's go to documents, libraries, and this time, let's add the include folder of SDL image. So let's select this include folder and let's add it. Now let's click on OK. Then let's expand linker. Now let's select general. Then let's go to additional library directories. Let's click on this button. Let's go to Documents, then Libraries, then let's open SDL2, then let's open this Leap folder. Now let's select this folder, x64. Let's click on Select folder. Now let's click on this button. Then let's go to Documents, then Libraries, then SDL2 image. Now let's open this Leap folder and let's select this folder. Now let's click on OK. Now let's go to input. And in the additional dependencies, we need to add the lib files. So let's go to the folders that contain the lib files. First, let's open SDL2. Then let's go to lib. Then x64. Now we need to add these two files. So let's copy the name of this file. 
let's add it here then let's copy the name of this second file and let's paste it now let's go to SDL2 image then lib then x64 then let's copy the name of this lib file let's paste it here then let's click on ok then ok now let's open the folder of this project so let's click on open folder in explorer now let's go to the folder of the libraries and let's start with sdl2 image so i will copy the dll files and let's paste them in the folder of the project now let's go to sdl2 and let's copy this file then let's paste it just here in the folder of the project now let's build and run the application So here we can see that the application has been built successfully. Now let's run it. And we obtain this window. Finally, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.